I know they're kind of thinking, well, how are you thinking you're going to take pictures if you can't, you know, read the camera? But but you can, and that's that's part of the exciting thing of sort of negotiating this this new disability of you know how am I going to work with this thing to still make life exciting and have a have a perspective that I can share with others. I'll be your tripod. <laughs> oh, there's a leaf. I like leaf, rock, and wood. Yay. I'm trying to get... That's what I came on. I hope we remember that up and down, not sideways. Are you doing landscape or portrait? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm just trying to make a good picture. <laughs> I myself am totally blind, so I don't know... I can't see what I'm taking pictures of. All I know is I'm just pushing the button and out comes the pictures. Everyone, when I would go on Twitter or Facebook, they would always tell me, you know, because I'd say, oh, I'm off to my photography class. They're like, your photography what? You know? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I take a photography class. So okay. go a little bit. If you go um, right here. And now try tilting it. No, now you're way too far to the right. I try to just center the lens and try to take people's pictures based on their voices. And sometimes I'm not as accurate and sometimes um, I'm pretty dead on you know it just depends on what kind of a day it is and how good I am on my on my picture taking. You don't need f uh, vision or full vision to have perspective and that's what photography gives us is this amazing opportunity to show our perspective. The more elements there are in let's say a field of vision the more confused it is for me to uh, use the vision that I have. Oh, see, there are walls behind it. I don't want any cement showing. I loved photography before I had my vision loss, and I just have been able to, th through that field trip, find out that I could have the same exact joy that I had before by um, making extreme close-ups of things. It's sort of cool to be able to show what nature can look like if you take the time to really look at it you know, from different angles. I think that's what I like to. The process of taking those pictures was so fun. Kind of inventing for myself a whole new way of expression with photography. And I, I, it was exciting to take it. I, I mean, there were a lot of misses, but there were a couple in there. I thought, oh, I got something fantastic. I hope so, you know. So we'll see what it came out as. My purpose in trying to learn how to take and use the um, digital camera is to record more of an oral history, visually, 
of the family that I have and our children and our grandchildren. So, uh, and this will give me a format for actually seeing them. It's not just going to be a hobby with me. It's really going to be, I hope, be very meaningful for me and for my children as, they, as these discs get passed on. You have a better perspective of getting a better photograph through that than a sighted person, basically because you were feeling the, the thing that you're trying to take the picture of, more so because of your handicap. So you're more of aware of what, what is out there. You're more of aware of the, the colors, even though you can't see them, but you're more aware of the, the clarity of the colors and what they are and so forth like that. So you probably take the best picture of everybody in the world. <laughs> see, we'll find right. out. <laughs> Too bad we can't see them. <laughs>